It is the busiest Saturday of campaign 2016, and early on, a good day for Ted Cruz. He's already won the Republican caucuses in Kansas. Republicans also voted today for a presidential nominee in Louisiana, Kentucky, and Maine, with a total of 155 delegates on the table. Democrats decided in three states, Louisiana, Kansas, and Nebraska, with 109 delegates up for grabs. Juliana Goldman now has the latest from our Washington bureau. Juliana. Jim, tonight is all about bragging rights. Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton are looking to build on their leads and momentum from Super Tuesday. Rivals are hoping to prove for wins to prove that they have staying power. And Cruz's victory in Kansas means he can keep making the case that he's got the best shot at beating Trump. Is having a lightweight like a Marco Rubio, who's terrible. Republican frontrunner Donald like Trump rallied caucus goers in Kansas and later in Florida. The Republicans are eating their own. They got to be very careful. He we predicted to big wins down. tonight, stepping up his digs at Marco Rubio and the establishment Republicans frantically trying to stop him. The way we beat Hillary Clinton in November is we tell the truth with a smile. But the winner in Kansas was Ted Cruz, who stumped there earlier. Now with five wins, more than any other Republican rival has over Trump, Cruz has been arguing he's the only one who can beat the billionaire businessman. And we have been able to win over and over and over again from the grassroots. This process doesn't need to be mean. It doesn't need to be nasty. It Thank you. At a conservative gathering in Washington, Marco Rubio chided Trump, who backed out of his speaking slot at the last minute to My campaign God. in Kansas. And this is the American Conservative Union, and so, I mean, it's usually reserved for conservatives. And but with his fate resting on winning his home state on March 15th, the Florida senator headed straight to Jacksonville. The eyes of the nation are upon this great state. I know how to tackle these problems. They're not While Governor John Kasich was in Michigan ahead of Tuesday's primary there. On the Democratic side, Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders were also looking past tonight's contest. When I heard about Flint, I was just sick. With a debate Sunday in Flint, Michigan, Clinton was in Detroit, meeting with a small group of African-American pastors. Talks in vague terms. In Ohio, Sanders hit Clinton on her plan for Social Security, but he saved his sharpest attacks for the GOP. I mean, what we are seeing in the Republican uh, presidential uh, process is like a sixth grade food fight that you see in a cafeteria. Tonight will also be the first chance to see if the Republican establishment's Stop Trump efforts have had any impact. Jim, there's no rest for the weary this weekend. There are more contests on Sunday. Democrats and Republicans hold primaries in Puerto Rico, while Democrats caucus in Maine. Juliana, thank you.